Well, I think just looking at what we needed to do was get into the drive, get the first first down, how critical that was, uh, allow things to flow, allow the play passes to work. Some of the stuff that we had schemed or game plan for them uh, really allows that to, to mature and gives it a chance. Um, you know, we were able to run the football. You know, we were able to run the football. We were not able to run the football um, against them, you know, last year. Uh, and, and we won one-on-one. -on -one. You know, there were times where we blocked them and, you know, they pressured and, and Tajay stepped up, blocked the guy, lost his helmet. The guy must have got frustrated, hit the quarterback late. Um, it, you know, when we went out on routes, we won one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, you know, for the most part, we were able to take care of the ball. Um, and, and we did some great things in the red zone. Well, that's what we try to do, and next week will be a different challenge and go on a road in, in the division. Um, you know, but that's obviously what we're trying to do is play complementary, feed off each other, fuel each other, uh, have a level of speed and violence to our actions. You know, I thought there were some good extra efforts. Guys blocking down the field, Nick makes a nice play. Then, you know, and then he, he blocks for Derek and things come around, hop comes up huge, and we missed him there early on. Um, but again, when we need a conversion or we need a play, and, and I know that, you know, uh, he's been there for us. So we got everybody involved. Just like quicker to being able to play complimentary football. Once you got the big lead, how much did that free up the defense to be able to come after Burrow? Well, we mixed in there. You know, I think Shane called a good game. Again, it's all credit to the players. You know, for for keeping it in front of them and tackling. Uh, we knocked it off of them a couple times. You know. And uh, that was great to see. And you know, we got to stop in the red zone when we needed it on the first drive and then really settled down after that. Is there more play action today, Mike, or just over uh, I'm sure you guys will tell us the numbers there tomorrow. It, you can only run play action when you're running a football. Really, that's only going to work. So, um, you know, we hit some and, and, and missed a couple, couple others. So we'll just keep figuring it out. With that the play call, it seemed like Tim Kelly was in a groove. How do you like the way he layered his calls and I, right it, it, all the credit goes to the players. It, it does. And I mean, we make all this up about play callers. I mean, give them a play, and then they go execute it. It's up to the players. Well, Which, like, and they did a great job. That's seemed, what I'm saying. It seemed like Derek was having success with, with what seemed like kind of tighter, closer pitches. What, what was kind of the key to getting him going with those, those plays early? Well, just what we're trying to do, whether we toss it back to him and, you know, work an inside zone or outside zone, gap scheme multiple different looks that we try to give them. Were they a different He's always going to be a threat in the red zone, Derek, but how much more effective when you can use the wide pin packages? Never hurts. You know, never hurts when when you have a guy in there that can, can run it in. And uh, well executed by, by Derek and Cheddar Bob. Did you guys have any conversation about maybe switching it up if they call the timeout? No. Yeah, we did. We had zero, you know, run it again. Call it again. Third and three. How much of a game changer was that play? Again, when we've needed some conversions, we've gotten them, you know, from from Hop and some big opportunities. So I, I know that the the production will continue to come, but when we've needed a play, he's come up huge. On the third and sixteen penalty against them, were they calling the hit on Ryan or were they calling the hit on the NWI? Uh, I think they called roughing the passer, right? You guys. There you go. I mean, I, they don't tell me anything, guys. I, we warned them twice for their kicker going out there and kicking in between timeouts, and then they warned them on the, the second time. I don't know. So they don't tell me much. What, what were you making on the, the Spears kind of bobble? Uh, kind of Pick it up and go make a play. Yeah. Pretty impressive they can do that. Run where they ain't. You went, you it's went. a guy making a play. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That, that's what this game's about. And we got actions and we got responses. And. Tajay responded. I'm sure he didn't want to drop the ball or the ball wasn't perfect or it wasn't blocked great. And that's what this game comes down to. That's what I try to tell him. You went deeper more on, on the edge. What's that? Go ahead. Talking about responses, we talk all week with Ray Tuck saying he plays out to how the Lions performed last week. Just how did you see the responses from practice this week and kind of performed? Well, they showed up and worked. They showed up and worked. And, you know, not that it was uh, perfect, but there was certainly some time to throw. I thought the good example of that was the throw to Tajay there on third and five. Uh, maybe six. Ryan was able to progress. He had one-on-one -on -one with Wilson. Ryan was able to look over uh, after a few 
uh, pumps and, and throw it to him, and, and Tajay broke a tackle and, and got a huge first down there. So they gave him time to, to progress, and, and I thought they did a decent job in the run game. Seems like you went sort of deep, deep around the edge with, with your guys to see Gibson make, make a play great. like that. Yeah, I think that you know, it was cool. We had some guys playing their first ta- time for us as Titans, and he was one of them, and talked about those guys making a play. Shy Carter playing his first NFL game. You know, Wiley continuing to, to get, you know, gave him some more snaps today, and he came through. Um, you know, Caleb Murphy, Colton Dow. So it's the way it kind of shook out there today. It was good to see them all go out there and contribute. Did you guys scored a lot of touchdowns in your career? Not that, create, not that the, many. The uh, creation of that play and, and uh, your confidence level in it working, was, was it pretty high or no? It was very high. Yeah, I mean, we go in there and game plan and look at stuff and figure out what we want to try to run. and. And then the players go and execute it. It's it's them. It's Derek executing practice, and you know Derek's credit. You know he wants to, you know, practice it in, until he he can't get it wrong. And yeah, that that was well executed. How do you like the way your guys on the back end perform? They seem like they tap well, no explosives. Yeah, I mean that's you know if we can be aggressive and you know still make them earn it, right, and not have those. Mistakes down the field. I thought they mixed in coverages and man and zone and you know just being able to to, to swarm, stay on our feet, and I let those quick game. You know, we tipped a couple passes. Need to get some more, but you know, hold a, a talented offense at three points. That's a good job. How good day's work. How important was that maybe ten minute drive to start the third? And then how, how crucial was time of possession third downs tonight? Well, those are you know third downs. All third down red zone is going to be where the game's won and. You know, it wasn't the prettiest 10 minute drive, but it certainly was very effective. Do you wonder at all where that's been in terms of compilation? Not anymore, no. I mean, like we, I mean, it's, you know, every week is a challenge, you know, and I know that, you know, where it's been, what it's doing, like we're, we're trying to look at, what, look at what we do well and uh, keep doing it. Well, we're just trying to add a add a backer to kind of speed up his clock a little bit, and you know maybe get some protection on the back, or you know free up one of those defensive linemen. Um, maybe different next week. In what ways did the receiver step up with Traylon out? Well, Nick is and and Chris is they have made plays uh, throughout the the early part of the season when called upon. Uh, those guys work extremely hard. Uh, they play on special teams for us. They know all receiver spots. Uh, invaluable, uh, versatile players. So I was happy to see them have success. And um, they both came up with big plays today. And you saw Chris in there as a gunner, as a plus 50 gunner, knocking the ball loose. You know, we'll have to get, get guys closer there the next time when, when we make a play. So, you know, Mason did a nice job catching punts. Uh, and, you know, Hop came up with the, with the plays that he needed as well. How happy are you for Derek, Pat, Earl Campbell, and then Eddie Cumber win, obviously? Yep. We, we always happy for our players when, when they have success, and you know, how important Derek is to this franchise and this team and me and everybody else. So, told them, uh, told the Buckeye Eddie George that Derek's coming for him. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we came out and responded. Uh, obviously, wanted to to get things going early, and we were able to do that. Guys came out, played with a purpose from the from the first snap. Played our style of ball, both offense and defense. So proud of our guys. The way we came out, responded, battled throughout the game, and, uh, and ultimately came out the win. What kind of kick started you there? I mean, it was a, the first drive was pretty good, but then you had those three straight long touchdown drives. Was it mainly being able to hit chunk plays that did it, or on what way were those? I think we were efficient. You know, I think we uh, we ran the ball well. We, we kept ourselves, um, you know, ahead of the six. We never got into third and long situations. Are not rarely got into third and long situations, and if you do that, you feel good about the plan. You feel good about having answers in our matchups. So, um, you know, look back at last week, we we're in a lot of third and long situations. So, you know, if we can if we can be efficient on first, second down, keep ourselves ahead of the sticks, then it opens up everything for us, and, and we're able to extend drives and ultimately score more points. When things click across the board as great as they did for everybody today, do you wonder a little bit like where's that been? Why haven't we been able to do that? I'm proud of our guys. I'm not. I'm not wondering anything. You know, I, I'm proud of the way we responded. Uh, had a great week of practice preparing uh, for this game. Uh, we knew we wanted to come in, play well at home, and we we're able to do that. Third and three, you hit the big one to DeAndre. The game was still tied at that point. How big of a momentum boost was that one for you? That was huge. 
it was huge. You know, um, obviously he, he made a great play, got himself open by a couple of yards there, able to uh, to hit the big one. Uh, at that point, we were just kind of a few yards, few yards, few yards. So um, first big play of the day, and really you know jump started that drive. Right. Right. It's been very up and down, home versus row. But do you feel like there's some steady gains being made on your side of the ball in terms of just chemistry, timing, all that at this point? Yeah, no doubt we're growing. You know, I'm proud of our guys, the way we responded, like I, I keep saying, but. Um, you know, fought through the noise and were able to come out, play well up front. You know, our guys up front did a good job in the run game and in the pass game, you know, creating some space for uh, the running backs and then give me some time to, to get some balls off. So a big, big lead, a big, you had a big lead at the half, and then you come out and put it together a drive that shoots 10 minutes off the clock to start the second half. How much was that kind of a game icer, so to speak, to kind of really put yourself in charge? Yeah, no doubt, it's huge. Obviously, we you know, would have liked to walk away with a touchdown there, but um, you know, we marched it down the field. You know, had some big conversions. Uh, took a lot of time off the clock. I think it was you know nine, ten minutes, something like that, uh, and really you know chewed up, chewed up that whole third quarter. So uh, proud of our guys. We were able to put put a big drive together right there. Uh, battle through the heat. You know, it was uh, a warm day, and our guys you know gutted through it, battled through it, kept pushing, kept finishing, kept fighting, and that's what we want to be. We want a team that, that plays. Grimy, uh, plays tough, plays physical, and um, is able to you know extend those drives and, and make those those tough yards when it gets when it gets grimy. How, how, Ryan, how much did you enjoy the quarter yeah. when you just had one kind of chunk play after after the next? That oh, was a lot of fun. You know, we were uh, we were efficient, uh, and then that was opening up some things down the field for us. So uh, whenever you're you're able to hit on these plays that you've been working on in practice, been thinking about dialing it up. Get to open up the playbook a little bit. Timmy did a great job calling the game and having a good feel for for when to dial those things up. So, um, you know, it's a it's a good thing for the Titans when they're able to dial those things up. Personally, nice to beat these guys. Yeah, no question. I mean, I, I love winning. I love winning at home. Uh, you know, those guys have had our numbers the past few years. So, you know, good to uh, to get uh, on the right side of that. Your evaluation of Derek's the, uh, Derek evaluation as a passer. <laughs> Your evaluation of Derek's continuing evaluation as a passer? And he's efficient. I don't know what his rating is. It's got to be probably perfect. Uh, you know, I feel like every time he throws one, it's a touchdown. So, um, you know, it's fun to, fun to see those plays come together. Uh, fun to see Wiley get his, his first touchdown there. And obviously, a, a good throw by Derek. Brian, how much did you like the creation of that play during the week when you were running it? And did you feel pretty confident it was, you know, was going to click when it happened? Yeah, it was fun. You know, we, uh, we put that in in the week, you know, got a few reps at it. And, um, they did a great job of go out and executing. I was just kind of a, a fan watching out there. You know, I, I ran a little route, but really, I'm, I'm watching the play. And uh, you know, fun to see. I, when I turned my head, I saw Josh open in the back, and uh, hoping Derek could get it to him. And obviously, made a great throw and, and big play. Are you Jeff lobbying for a, uh, a carry or a route on that play? Jeff's always lobbying for for the ball. So, um, you know, you gotta gotta ignore the noise when uh, when Jeff's in the huddle. Um, but it's uh, it's good to have him in there. Are you surprised that you guys continue? on the goal line like Derek in the you know in the shotgun feels like at this point teams should be privy to he might pass and so far it well if they want to hang back then he'll just run it in so um, you know you can't you can't play uh, play back and soft in the end zone and you know take away the one yard at the line of scrimmage so uh, it makes it tough on teams when you have a, a back that can um, you know be physical get that tough yard in the line of scrimmage or uh, you know step back and make the throw when Derek's running the way he is when you go Oh, it's exciting. Like I said, you know, you have these plays that you uh, you put in throughout the week and, and you hope to get the opportunity to call them. And uh, when you're when running the ball efficiently, you're setting things up. And now you're able to play off formationally uh, what we're doing and really, you know, open up the playbook. So, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. And to see it all come together, you know, that's uh, that's why we work, work at it so hard throughout the week. What is kind of going through your mind on the side of Spears play where the ball on the ground, he fumbles it around and picks it up and goes. Did you, were you wanting to get down on it or that, what? How you to uh, I saw him drop it. I said, oh, crap, pick it up. <laughs> and uh, then he picked it up and started bouncing it back towards me. I was like, oh, crap, I better try to get a block. So then I tried to get in the way and hopefully, you know, got him a few extra yards there. But no, obviously, um, it's an imperfect game, right? You know, Coach Rabel talks about it all the time. It's an imperfect game. We're trying to go out there and do it perfectly, but you can't freak out if things don't go ex uh, as expected always, right? Got to be able to uh, roll with the punches a little bit. You saw that with Tajay, you know. Drops the ball, but picks it up, keeps fighting, uh, finds a little lane, and is able to make a huge play. Are you rushing to see that block in the film room tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> hopefully, uh, it's not uh, embarrassing, but uh, you know, try to get in the way. Was there more play action 
today, Ryan, or, or, or was it just more successful today than it, than it has been previously? Well, I think we ran a lot more plays today than we did last week, and um, that's, like I said, it all bu builds off each other, you know? So, um, you know, when you're able to sustain drives, get more shots on goal, uh, complement formations and, and what we're doing, then, you know, you get into the, the playbook a little deeper. The pitches to Derek seem like they were tighter and faster. Is that a different brand of pitch than you've been using? The pitches? The, the, the pitch plays to Derek seem like they were, they were faster developing plays than, than a lot of the runs where you move, pitch it wider most of the time. Right. Were you approaching that differently? Were they, were they different plays? Um, not specifically. I don't, I don't know. It's not like a, the, the toss crack play that we're, you're traditionally pitched. But um, yeah, we worked in a few tosses, some same side tosses today, uh, able to, uh, to stretch the field laterally a little bit there uh, to complement the downhill stuff. You mentioned the guys on the front bite of the noise this week, Ryan. What was the talk in the building this week in terms of those guys to each other, you guys to them, just the, the conversation about improving the protection this week? Yeah, go out, believe in each other, play fast. You know, we can't go out there thinking, uh, can't go out there hesitating uh, in, any, in any aspect. You know, you got to be able to play fast, play physical. Uh, whatever you do, do it with 100% effort. And if we do that, you play together as a unit up front, then uh, you're most likely going to like the results. Ryan, it's been a tale of two offenses from your road games to your back at home. With a big divisional game against the Colts coming up next week, what can you all do from a performance like this to carry over on the road next week? Yeah, I got to build on it, you know. Um, did some things well today. Want to build on those things, keep uh, expanding, you know, how we're attacking defenses and, um, you know, just keep improving on the things we didn't do well. You know, it's not a perfect game. Uh, never will be, but you know, there's, there's things we can get better from that we'll learn from this tape. And I want to build on the good things and, and go into next week with a full head of steam. Obviously, a big division game on the road, uh, and it means a lot. Does that make you wonder how long, which, kind of which team is the Titans right now? I mean, you've had two games that haven't gone very well, two games that have. I'm not wondering anything. I believe in that locker room. I believe in the guys. I believe in what we have and what we're building. So proud of the way we came to work throughout this week, prepared ourselves, and look forward to doing the same thing next week. Thank you. Yeah, it felt good. Um, I feel like we were hitting on all senators playing uh, complimentary football on all three phases. Um, and um, glad we were able to put drives together. Defense did a great job um, against the offense, special teams. Um, I feel like it was a great all-around team win. We finally got one on them, so they sealed up with us a little bit. We finally got one, so. I did like the way your guys up front took care of you, make sure that you, you know, had to rush them. Yeah, I don't even want any credit. Uh, credit goes to those guys, man. The resiliency they showed um, coming off of last week and, you know, how we performed as a team. I thought those guys really took it to heart and went out there and played a hell of a game and made my job a lot easier. So, you know, give those guys all the credit and they deserve it. Maybe the legacy he's left. How cool was to pass him and maybe get recognized, I guess, in game? Yeah, I'm just I'm thankful. I'm blessed. Um, grateful for uh, everything. Grateful for this opportunity. Um, you know, I was a kid, just you know that that love football, playing in my grandmother's yard in Uly, Florida, and um, you know my opportunity to get a chance to play Pop Warner and moving up and up and up as the older I got. And to be mission with a name that I've heard so long as a kid, um, you know, it's, it's a surreal moment for me. I'm thankful. Um, God is good, and I'm thankful for the people that helped me get there. I guess my kid is that he said, told or Eddie that maybe you're coming for him. Did he, did he say that to you? Uh, he said that uh, when we were in the locker room um, when he was talking to us, uh, talking to the team. Um, still got a long way to go, man. And uh, you know, Eddie's was a, a, a great, a great pinnacle for this for this organization. I'm um, standing for this organization and um, somebody that I admire very well. And um, you know, uh, not, not not thinking about it, just enjoying um, each and every day I get to do this. Um, it's been a dream of mine, so just thankful. Derek, what was your reaction when they dialed up the play for you to look in the end zone and throw the touchdown pass? You know, Peyton Manning had to show up again, so. <laughs> um, I was just thankful that it that it worked, and um, you know it's kind of cool to be able to throw uh, Josh's first NFL touchdown. Like having Jeffrey Simmons in on that play, he did some decent blocking there. Yeah, he did it. He did all right. Uh, nah, um, you know Jeffrey type of guy. Anything that we need to do um, um, to to help us win, he need to come on offense and help block. That's the type of guy he is, and you know we. We love him, and he's the heart and soul of this team. Is that strictly, is that strictly throw it throw it where you threw it or run it? Say it again? Is that play strictly throw it 
where you threw it or run it? It's, it's called go be Peyton Manning and get a touchdown, and that's what I tried to do. Are you surprised you guys repped that, Derek, this week? How many times you guys repped that practice? I don't give you to too much insight. Just know that I put it where it's supposed to be, and we got six out of it. So. Are you surprised you're still getting away with that play at this point? Say it again? Are you surprised you're still getting away with that play? I don't know why they don't respect me, man, but hopefully I earn that at some point. I got to find out my QBR rating. Might be pretty good, so. They called timeout. I mean, did you think, oh, no, we may, may not call it? I did. Right? I was like, oh, man. They didn't see something. They sniffed something out. They're going to change the play. But we stuck with it and ended up working. And I guess on, the, on your touchdown run, you had to break maybe it's two, three tackles mm -hmm. to the end zone. How much you think that's a confidence-building play for the whole team and maybe bring some energy on offense. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely just wanted to go out there and um, take advantage of the opportunities and set the tone on um, each and every carry I got. Uh, hopefully I did that today. Those guys made my job a lot easier. They embraced it, they did a great job. So a lot of good things to build off of. Do you feel like you should have looked more like this up to this point team-wise and it should look more like this weekly going forward? Um, I mean, of course we want to look like this um, each and every week, but it doesn't go that way all the time. Um, you know, there's going to be moments where we're going to have a little bit of adversity. There's going to be moments for growth for each and every one of us and us as a team. And that's the thing about this season, about, about, the, about the season. It's, it's hard to win in this game. And it's, it's, it's um, you know, you've got to be locked in each and every day. And some days it's going to be better than others, but as long as you stay with and stay focused, everything can work out the way it's supposed to. A lot of you guys get talking about how your rushing fuels the defense, but today when they have an output like that, how much does that fuel you guys off? Oh, yeah, definitely. They was balling. Um, they came with it today. Um, you know, you could see that energy when they were out there. Um, they were all locked in, hungry, hungry defense. And, um, you know, when they do stuff like that, we definitely feed off of it. I know I do. So, you know, love to see those guys over there. Um, doing uh, the best that they can and playing to their ability. So. There's so much emphasis on this team about staying ahead of the sticks, those good first down plays. Just when it's working out like that, like you did today, what's going right for you guys to be able to keep doing that? Um, yeah, we always say just get the first first down. And if we do that, we're able to get in the drives. And I think um, we were able to show that today. As long as we be able to move the ball, get, get a first down, and get in the drives, guys get opportunities to get the ball and make plays. I feel like we did a great job at that today and a lot of, lot, lot of room to grow off of. So. What do you think helped with so many big chunk plays to Derek, whether it was on, on, the, you know, on the ground or through the air, would help with all those big plays? Yeah, I think you asked me that earlier is um, the details, knowing the concept, knowing what you're supposed to do, and when the play is there, make it. And I think guys embraced that and locked in and tried to go out there and do that today. I mean, well, I'm glad we won, really. I don't want to get too caught up on uh, the we moving up on the rushing list and all those type of things take away from you know a great team win. I'm just thankful that we won, and hopefully we uh, keep stacking them. Um, this, was, this, was a, this was a great one today, and just thankful for the whole journey. This team's kind of been on a, a little bit of a roller coaster through four weeks. I mean, how much do you think this team can point to this game and say, hey, play like this? Across the board is how good we can be. Yeah, but this is a great one to build off of. Um, and, you know, just uh, keep looking at the things we did well in this game, build off of those, um, knowing the things that we need to get better at and keep keep doing those. But, you know, this is a great one to build off of. Very proud of everyone. Um, the resiliency they showed in all three phases to come out here and put a performance out, out, out like we did. And the coaches and everybody just being locked in this week. And we just got to keep it going. When the chips are down, you guys always seem to be at your very best. Y'all talking junk about us all week? <laughs> no, nah, um, no, I think we just, um, you know, it was just time to put one together and play the style we need to, we, we need to play. And I think um, guys really honed in on that and locked in on that. And, um, you know, last week nobody was, was, was happy or, you know, really, you know, woke us up and, and, you know, we needed to come out here and put out a good performance. It was just time for it. Let me throw one more for you on Tajay. Most of the time when the ball's on the ground, somebody falls on it. He fumbles or follows around, picks it up and runs. I mean, that the kind of stuff he can do. What was, you, what was kind of going through your mind when you were watching that? This Tajay, this type of play, you got to hold your breath. Cause you, 
it can be, it can, it, it can go the distance at any point. I mean, I, I, I told myself, I don't even know how you did that. I was waiting for you to just jump on the ball. You turned it to a, a 30, 40 yard game. So that's the type of player he is. He's a weapon for us. And, um, you know, I'm excited to have him. And, um, you know, I'm going to try to help him any way I can and, you know, just try to help him be the best player he can. Thanks, Thanks,